Hey, boys and girls. Well, can you believe it? Today is the third Sunday in Advent. We only have one more Sunday until we get to Christmas Eve. And I've got to tell you, now that I'm getting older, it seems like time goes by so fast. But I remember when I was your age, it seemed like it would take forever for Christmas to come. But here we are on the third Sunday of Advent, and we're getting even closer. So today, we get to light three candles on our Advent wreath. So let's light the candles. If you remember, the first one is the candle of hope. And the second one is the candle of love. And today we light the candle of joy. And you, you see what color that candle is? It's pink, it's different than the other blue ones because we're getting so close to Jesus coming again, it's just a joyful occasion. And so that's why the third one is a pink candle. Well, we only have 11 days until Christmas. And I'm freaking out. I still have a lot of presents I need to buy for some people. I only have 11 days to get it done. <laughs> but you know, we give gifts at Christmas um, because it reminds us that God gave us the greatest gift of all, his son Jesus. And so over these past couple of weeks with Advent, I wanted you and me to think about these gifts that God has given us, the very special gifts that we are able and God wants us to share with one another. And I call that re-gifting. Since God already gave us these gifts, we can re-gift them to one another. So the first one I talked about, do you remember which one that was? Yeah, we're called to re-gift forgiveness because God forgives us so we can be right with God. He says, you know what? You can forgive each other too, so if you hurt one another, you can be forgiven and, and be okay again. And then last week, I talked about regifting encouragement, and, and that's about building up one another when they're feeling down. So today, for our third Sunday, I wanna talk about the gift of kindness. God has given us kindness and wants us to re-gift kindness to one another. Because God in his loving kindness cares for us and watches over us and gives us everything that we need. So today I've got a gift I wanna show you. This is a very special gift, a very precious gift, a very expensive gift. This glass vase is a very valuable gift to me. Um, I got it in Israel and it's beautiful. And like I say, it's expensive and it's fragile. It is made of really thin glass made a long time ago. And so it's a very valuable, expensive, special, fragile, precious, important gift. I love it. Now, do you suppose that um, I play catch with it? Pfft, no. Do you think maybe I, I use it to uh, pound nails with? Pfft, of course not. Maybe do you think I, I use this, I put it on the ground and I can stand on it so I can reach things in high places? No. You don't do that, do you? If something is valuable, precious, fragile, important, and special. You don't treat it that way, do you? How do you treat something that's really valuable and special and important? Well, you care for it. You watch over it. You make sure it's safe and, and okay. So yeah, I, I don't put this out. I don't let my dogs play with it. I put it in a nice little shelf where I can enjoy it and watch over it. Yeah. But, do you know what else is really valuable and special and important? You are. You are valuable. 
and special and precious and important. And so are your brothers and sisters and your family and your friends and your neighbors. In fact, everyone is valuable and important and special and precious. So valuable and special and important and precious that God gave his only son, Jesus, to take care of him, to save us. The whole world, everyone, is loved by God. We re-give kindness when we treat everyone as being as valuable and special and fragile and as important as this vase. But people are way, way more important than a vase, right? Well, I want to share with you one of my favorite stories that Jesus ever shared. It's called The Parable of the Good Samaritan. Uh, and it's a story that Jesus shared to show what it means to value one another. So I want to share that story with you, and I'll be right back. The Good Samaritan. Jesus told this story so we would know how to be a good friend to those in need, how to be kind. It is found in the Bible, in the book of Luke. A man was walking along the road from Jerusalem to the town of Jericho when some bad man stole his coat and left him lying on the side of the road, badly hurt. The hurt man lay in the hot sun. At last he saw someone coming past. It was a very holy man who loved to pray. Help me, please cried the hurt man. But the very holy man took no notice. He walked on the other side of the road. He didn't stop to help the hurt man. He was too busy praying to God. A very clever teacher from his own town came past. He walked on the far side of the road and pretended not to see the hurt man. He did not stop to help him. A stranger from the country of Samaria came along the road with his little donkey. He saw the hurt man by the side of the road. The man from Samaria was very kind. I will help you, my friend, said the kind man from Samaria. He gave the man a drink of water, helped him, and put him on his donkey's back. He found a place for the man to stay and paid for everything he needed. Jesus wants us to be kind to one another. That is called being a good Samaritan. Okay, just one person in that story. Um, show kindness to the man who was attacked. Two other men saw the man who was attacked and they didn't value him, didn't care for him, so they just walked on by. But one man valued him and cared for him, and he was a Samaritan. And that's important because you know, Samaritans and, and Jewish people, they didn't get along. They didn't like each other. So the person that was least likely to help him did. Why? Because he loved God and he knew that God values everyone and so he valued that man as well. And so he took care of him. So this Christmas, I want you to think of how you can re-gift kindness. And the best way to do that is to see how very special and important and valuable everyone is and then to treat them that way because they are and so are you let me pray with you real quick dear heavenly father thank you for loving us valuing us so much that you sent your son jesus to save us please help us to look at every other human being and value them the way you do and show them kindness as you have showed us kindness and we love you all.
men. And so until I get to see you all again, God's peace to you.